Order in the court. Order in the court. It's time for Justice with Sweet James. The great James Bergener, my personal injury attorney who's kept me out of jail for this long. Am I being sued for divorce? In, how long will you be staying with us? 800-881-2021 is his number. At Sweet James on Twitter or SweetJames.com. There's only one dense beard of justice. And if somebody owes you money, you should call him. He is a wonderful man. And he joins the show every single week. We just love him. Sweet James, how are you? I'm doing well, Patros. How are you? I am. Well, I've been better, but I've been worse, too. Sweet James, it's hard on uh, Wednesdays because I have to weigh the exuberance that I have to talk to you Mm -hmm. and our friendship with my radio partner. Let's cut to the chase there, Bergener. When's he going to the hawk? (laughs) We have a court date into this month, Uh and then we have another one in June. And you're not going to uh, submit a plea bargain, maybe get this thing down to, I don't know, three weeks? They're referring to a a speeding (laughs) ticket that I got a few weeks back. They're talking about him doing a nickel, but I can oh, yeah? get number Just 35 on the back of his uh, prison jumpsuit. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh, a number 35, like my, my football number. That's that's pretty cool. That's That makes me feel great. Matt, why don't you, uh, <laughs> why don't you ask him a question about like something legal that's going on that might be able to help our listeners or give them some perspective. All right. right, let's. Uh, you told us last week that they uh, would not win, that people would not win a lawsuit if they were to file against Manny Pacquiao's camp or yeah. HBO or Showtime, but- we're now discovering that 25 lawsuits have already been filed. Give, give, it, give the people an idea of how this happens. How do 25 lawyers or teams of lawyers decide to file these lawsuits? Well, a bunch of people see that uh, the fight made, what, half a billion dollars? Yeah. And there's some talk of Pacquiao. Maybe he wasn't up to speed. Maybe he had some issues. And they're thinking they got betrayed, and they're going to go ahead and file these lawsuits. I am predicting that uh, the Nevada courts are going to boot these things out as quick as they come in. I'm just not seeing any traction here. It's far too speculative. We don't know what Pacquiao's condition was before the fight. We know what it is after. When did it happen? Could he have won without it? I. It's just way too, way too out there to have any real traction. Would you call? Uh, would you call this a, a situation where you, even you, the optimist? The optimistic man that you are, sweet James Bergener, would not pay for a, a rematch between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. I, I watched that fight. I paid money to see that. Fight. I paid to watch Justin Bieber follow would Floyd you do Mayweather it again, into the though? ring. Would you do it again? Uh, I Come like on, Manny Pacquiao. Honest, I might do it honest. just for Pacquiao. Yeah, I think you would. You know why? Because you'd have a client in the hold, and you'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to relieve yourself from that heaviness that was weighing on you hey what's the is there a traffic is there a traffic uh citation a moving violation that maybe has gone to warrant that people do actually go to the coop for does that happen <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah what is it yeah like something I actually, I actually had one of my employees he didn't show up and we're like where is he, he calls his wife and she says he got he got uh he's in the pokey he got he got <laughs> did pulled you, over did you have to go down there and get him out <laughs> i did i did um he was uh, driving. He had a unpaid fine. It went to warrant. He had a bench warrant. Got pulled over for some infraction, and the officer sees he's got a bench warrant out. Okay, took him in. To, took him in. And they took him in. Yeah. To the bridewell. To the bridewell. To the to the to the gulag. How about that? The See? what? See, you could be going there, P. No, that, here's the thing. Petros what? What? has me. He's fine. But yeah. You, just, you said he didn't pay this ticket for like two years. Two and years. Like five. Ten years. Five years? Yeah. No, no. Okay. It's a 2005. 2005? Ten years? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. How is he years. not going to jail? <laughs> How are you not going to jail if you don't stop talking about it? Can you meet me halfway? <sighs> He's fine. Fu- no, there's no way Petrus is going. Yeah, no yeah, way. No way. He's good. Know. No seems, way. Seems like no you've way. requested one stay too many, James Bergener. <laughs> <laughs> you you can only it. throw paperwork at the law for so long. Why is this Tiger Woods story in our packet? Is there anything legal about Tiger Woods instead of drinking when he loses a game, just taking it out on sore, some poor woman's nether regions with his with his nether regions? What's the, what's the deal? Is he, is he cheating again? Is that the thing? Yeah, That's the idea. Why yeah. is it in no, our packet? No, no, he is not cheating again. Oh, oh, James, no. He's not winning any more tournaments. Oh, Come on. You know, that's a funny geez. joke. Humor at 800 Jeez. <laughs> good one, James. Yeah, real, real good.
So there's nothing legal. Why, Cates? Can you can you enlighten me as to as to why Tiger Woods is cheating on Lindsey Vaughn is in our packet with our lawyer, our personal injury you know attorney, Sweet James Bergener. Let's just, we'll just go to the next one. All right, flip the page. Next one. Uh, Turn now the this, page like Bob Seger. Certainly, James. We are fortunate <laughs> yes. to have your expertise. Uh, this guy Don right. Yee. He's Tom Brady's agent. He is, yeah. I guess, known as a, a. Is he a pretty famous litigator? That's kind of what his background is. He's a lawyer a guy, bit. well respected. Yeah. Uh, they are talking about just not not just appealing, but suing the league. What? Give us an idea of what the hell is going on here. No, no, no they no. can't do that. No, they're going to. They're going to. But look, the league makes the rules. It's their game. It's their ball. Babylon it's not makes deflated. the rules. Well, maybe it is a little. Who? Bit, but uh, no, he's bringing it today. Yeah, yeah. they're just they're, the they're fire just. Uh, it's, it's trying to save face. That's what this is about. It's okay. just trying to save face. There's just no real solid legal ramifications. I mean, what they're putting up billboards now. What is it, Tom Shady? Yeah. Clever. It's good use yeah. of money. It is fine. But the problem is it's Jet fans that are doing it, and they're doing it in New Jersey instead of Boston, so I don't know what There's they're doing. There's also very angry Giant fans. Getting their pound of flesh. Involved yeah, as well. True. The whole Eastern that's Seaboard true. is rising up yes. against Tom Brady. <laughs> And it seems like the whole legal world is rising up against me. Every day that James Bergener comes on, I, I want to have a good time. I want to enjoy it. And every day, Matt and ruins it. No? no way. And Petros, you know what? You can enjoy this beautiful Southern California day every single time. That's right. Thanks. Until you, it's time you, to go to the pound. <laughs> now, James, <laughs> you, sent me a, you sent me a photo last night, and you and I started uh, exchanging text about, about liquor. That is correct. You were up late last night, weren't you, sweet James? A little bit. I was this, is, this is why money doesn't give me a cell phone. Number. I was thinking about you. You know, you know where they don't have liquor? In the stir. In the what? In the stir. Thank you. 800-881-2021. Sweet James Bergener. We'll be right back with the split top story of the day. And Dave Basse is still coming, too. That's right. Dodgers Radio. Going back is Davis. He's going to look up. High drive into deep right field. 